A lot of times, the smart move in a match like this is to sit back in the weeds. Let the other two superstars tear each other apart. Let's see if we get any of that here tonight. You want to know just how excited this Providence crowd is for this match? I don't think any of them have sat since before ring introductions. Not where he wants to be right now. Self into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Beautiful drop kick. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. We often see a performer promise to raise the stature of the United States or Intercontinental Championship when they win one of those titles. But John Cena followed through when he won the U.S. title in 2015. You ain't kidding, Michael. After conquering Rusev at WrestleMania, John Cena started the U.S. Open Challenge, where any competitor in the locker room could request an impromptu title match every week on Raw. I'm uh, joining the U.S. Open Challenge conversation you guys started earlier. I thought Cena's bravado would lead to a short United States title reign, but to my surprise, Cena regularly defended the championship for months. Dean Ambrose, Zack Ryder, Cesaro, Kane, Sami Zayn, and so many others took Cena to his limit on a weekly basis, and he beat them all. It took Seth Rollins and, shockingly, Jon Stewart to finally end Cena's open challenge, at least for a while. This is not where Edge wants to his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. Edge has been called the ultimate opportunist, and it's a nickname he's earned. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. He is a one-man gang in there. the ultimate opportunist and this could be the turning point Cole it real nicely done I can't believe he's in this he's got some more fight in him guys he's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here gonna take more than that what a stop good grief And the instinct from Bo Dallas on display. He's fighting from underneath. He's fighting from underneath. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Ain't no stopping him now. Wow, Ed just timed that perfectly. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. He's fighting from underneath. And what a reversal there from Bo Dallas. Oh, the reversal by John Cena. Showing off some of his speed there. Big slam. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Br Incredible! Here's his moment, Michael. Oh, man, Ez doesn't even know where he is. He isn't showing much life here, guys. The pen's broken up. Oh, 
Bo Dallas is Skelly the ropes. Wow, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. And it's Edge getting out of that one. Ain't no stopping him now. And it's reversed. Oh, no. Cena, sunset bomb. Wow. That has got to be it. He's fighting from underneath. Get this guy some... One, two, and he got a near fall out of it. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. I think we... Oh, right to the face. I don't know. Is that a... What a clothesline. Ouch. I don't know. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? Damage is taking a toll. It appears Bo Dallas is starting to hit the wall. This is clearly not the same competitor. One. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. How'd he do that? That should do it. Now, Edge needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. One, two, three. Referee is calling for the bell. The match is over. This is amazing action. He was just better than the other two tonight. That's all there is to it. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match.